How's it going ladies and Bruce I'm Bobby Six Killer and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I was going to be recording Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom today, but un well, not unfortunately. I got an email in my account saying that Dauntless is now in open beta, which is a game I've been following for quite some time. It's basically like cell shaded Monster Hunter World, I guess, for PC, and it's a good time for it to be releasing since it actually still precedes the PC version of Monster Hunter World, so maybe it can grab an audience there beforehand. But I am interested, I've been following it for a while, and I'm curious to see how it actually plays out. I have not played it at all yet, I've just installed it, updated it, and I wanted to share the, like, getting into it and the experience with you guys. So we're going to jump in, I don't know how long we'll play it for, but we'll play it for some, and we'll see how it goes. Let's get into it. I don't know if we have to make a character, or if we have classes, or any of that sort of jazz, but we'll figure it out as we go. I am keen to play Monster Underworld when that does come to PC as well though, so we may do that too. We shall see what happens. The Shattered Isles, fractured by Aether, and the depredations of savage behemoths feeding on its power. Against their endless hunger stand the Slayers, our last hope. Also, like I always do, I always leave a code, uh, not a code, a, a link in the description for the game. In this case, it is free to play, so feel free to go over there and jump in, and I'm pretty sure the open beta is open for a while for everyone, so I'm curious to see how it's going to go. Uh, okay. We create a slayer by creating two ancestors. That's interesting, and then what, it generates one. Okay. Okay, that's a bit weird. I might have to use the mouse for this, but... Doesn't seem like it's super control supporty. Um, this Basil guy looks pretty badass. Say like Basil, Basil here, and uh, this Cora chick looks pretty cool too. Her hair's pretty wild. Yeah, let's go with her. Your slayer appearance is a blend of two ancestors. You can adjust with the slider below. That's actually really cool. An interesting way of doing it. Oh, I kind of want to change my other ancestor. Maybe this guy. Um. Right in the middle is pretty good to me. Uh, skin tone? Yeah, middle skin tone is pretty good for me. I'm actually like that, but... I mean, okay, we'll go with that. That is basically what my skin tone is like. It's as pale as fuck. Pale as fuck, and my hair is brown. Boring, boring, brown. Sort of like bad. Yep, that's pretty crap. Uh, hairstyles. Whoa, there's a lot of options. This could take a while. This could I like this Vegeta hair. Vegeta hair is pretty fucking badass. I'm quite, quite a fan of that. That is intense. Tied dreadlocks. Yeah, uh, okay. I don't want to go with spiked. That's pretty cool, I think. Personally. Facial hair. Let's have a, let's have a fucking, like a goatee type thing, shall we? So we look nice and evil. Maybe not like that. That might be a bit much. <laughs> Van Dyke. That is fucking epic. Look at that shit. Ooh wee. <laughs> Moosh. More like douche. <laughs> Look at that mo, bruh. Fuck it, hell. <laughs> okay, let's 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 not have facial hair actually. Skeptical. My eyebrows are skeptical of what you're saying. Lush. It's a lush fucking wilderness out there. And animals live in your eyebrows. I like unkempt. Oh, maybe I don't. Maybe I just like thick. Well, oh, I don't know. We got a very like. We got a very feminine sort of face at the moment. Well, my eyes are blue. Pretty super blue. We're just gonna go with it like that, I think. That's fine. I'm gonna leave the way everything else is laid out because it's pretty much what it picked for me. It's all good. It's all good. I don't want makeup or face paint. Body type. 
Okay, girl or dude. Sweet, I can deal with that. Are oh, we gonna go dude? Because I'm a dude. Seems like a, I really want to put facial hair on him though, I must admit. How about the douche? Can we put the douche on him? Oh my god, it's real douchey though, isn't it? <laughs> it's real douche. Okay, that'll do. Confirm. Let's go do some shit. Spent enough time fucking around with the character creator. I always do that. Always do that. But it's still a beta, I'm sure they're gonna add more bullshit to it yet. I don't know. I always find when you do uh, open betas, you end up playing it for a while and then eventually they delete your progress because of some massive update that deletes everybody's progress and you gotta start over. That's what happened with Elder Scrolls Online when I was, uh, I was in the closed beta in Elder Scrolls Online. Pretty badass airship. Nice of you to join us. Take your position, Rook. Go, Holmes. Whatever you reckon. Listen up. I don't train failures. It's not worth my time. And time is not on our side. There are more behemoths turning up on the frontier every day. And like it or not, you lot are all that stands between them and the good people of Ramsgate. The people who pay me to make sure you know your axe from a pole in the ground. Hold fast back there, people. Man, the sound's really out. Hang on a sec. Today's the day you prove you can all be let off the leash. I'm not going to be waiting for you at the drop zone, in case things go wrong. Today you prove you're not just recruits, you're slayers. Man down. No. I know it's in beta, but holy crap it runs like us. It's a fucking 14 frames a second. And it's not even on the highest graphics settings. And I'm running a 1080 here. I'm gonna turn it down after the video so that we can try and fucking sort this frame rate out. This is dog shit. This is the bosun. We can't get to you right now. That storm didn't just blast the hull. It also drained our power. We have to make field repairs and refill the aether traps if we're going to get back to Ramsgate. That's where you come in. We spotted a rogue Nasher on your island, and that rogue should contain more than enough aether to power the ship for our return journey. And listen, if you need advice, don't hesitate to call. We'll keep the radio on for you. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna fix this fucking frame rate if I can. At least as best as I can do. You landed close to a behemoth recruit. Strike now, or you'll never get off that island alive. It's time you were on the move. Take a moment to check out your surroundings. Alright, now I'm gonna use the uh, I'm using a controller, actually. I've just turned it to medium settings, so hopefully that will fix it up. You'd think it should be able to cope, but I guess it's not been optimized very well. Which is fine, I guess, for a beta. It's a beta. What to be expected. As you can see in the top right hand corner, open beta. Make sure you can still use your sword arm. 
go. We're getting a nice 60 frames constant now. With now that it's in medium. You can dodge right through a behemoth attack and escape unscathed. Cool, and jump. Light attack, heavy attack, dodge, jump. I got it. Let's go kill some fucks. Your hunt has begun. That sounds cool. Let's go hunt something and murder it. There he is. Can I target him? Is there a lock on? Can't tell if there's a lock on for it. It's really hard to see what I'm doing. Because I have to manually change the camera. Which is fucking annoying. Stop it! Whatever you're doing, stop it! Back off, motherfucker! Yo, no be like that! <laughs> oh shit! That's not good! Is there a lock on? Let me know there's a lock on, please. Where'd that fucker go? You've hurt that behemoth and made it flee. Now to track it down and finish this hunt. You got it, Holmes. This has a lot of potential. I'm looking forward to this. And I'm looking forward to playing Monster Hunter World when that comes to PC as well. So the reason we haven't done it yet is because it's not on PC Rich, and that's all we do. Girls, Aether, gather up what you can and we'll make use of it later. Okay. Like this crap? Hold. Boom. My flowers, bitch. You fuck with me, there's my flowers. Yeah. Some more over here. I guess we're going this way. I don't know. I really like there to be a lock on button though, so it locks onto the target. So I don't have to keep manually moving the camera around just to see it to murder it that's gonna get me fucking killed I know it is it's gonna get me killed hard I'm assuming that this like all the upgrades and everything work the same as Monster Hunter as in you skin the right, the enemy for parts right where you want it. Now, this. to upgrade your gear and all that I'm assuming that's how it works just like yeah it's like Monster Hunter can I I'm gonna try and find a button to lock onto this fuck. Yeah, that's new. Alright, bitch, let's fucking do this. Get wrecked! Get fucked! Ow! Asshole! Go down, bitch! Ow! Time your dodge for the moment when you're about to get in, and then just dodge through the attack. I can't predict that attack, it's really random. Alright, die you fuck. There you go. Get in the hang of it now. We gotta take this fucking tail off. Are you dead yet? You're taking some killing, bro. You're a lot stronger than I would have expected considering you're like a tutorial boss. Die! Oh, he's actually taking some scarring damage and stuff. That's pretty cool. Okay, if you're in the middle of an attack animation, you just cannot get out of it to do a dodge roll. Once you start an attack animation, you are committed to it. Until you've done it. And then you can dodge after that. Oh, he's hurting. He is hurting. Ow. Alright, heal. Fuck you. 
Down he goes, finally. Whew. Well, that was, that was uh, a while, but that's cool. We're gonna cut him up, use him for bits. Well, the frame rate's stable in game. It's just the movies that seem to fuck out. We'll be able to refill the Aether traps and get ourselves back to Ramsgate in no time. Ah. All right, let's go kill something. We've done that. That's the first one down. Let's go kill a proper one that isn't a tutorial you can't fail. Should be seeing the city any minute now. On an approach course to Ramsgate. Fresh Ramsgate air, eh? But sure. don't spend too much time enjoying it. Cat needs every Slayer to get back in the fight as soon as they're able. And you've proven you're up to the task. Everyone in Ramsgate is looking for her to coordinate the response to this behemoth surge. And that doesn't leave any of us a lot of downtime. She's already gone ahead to the plaza. So meet her there as soon as you can. Off you go then. And keep that chin up. You'll be a full-fledged slayer in no time. Good, I want to go kill somebody. Something. I only came here because you made me. I want to go murdering things. Get over here. Oh, looks like an MMO now. What's happening, Slayer? I'd like you to meet the weaponsmith. You got it, lady. Glad to see you, Rook. I appreciate the save. But now it's time for you to put down your training sword. Speak with Wills Borman at the Borman Smithy. Head past the bosun and turn left up the stairs until you reach the smithy's courtyard. Just listen for the clang of hammered metal. When you're through there, come on back, I've got another Goodbye target for you. For Where? Question mark. I see. That's cool. So it's very much uh, MMOE once you're in the towny bit. That's fine. I don't really mind that so much. I just want to get back out there and start killing some shit again. I only want to be here so that I can get my rewards, get some fucking new gear or something, and then go kill something. Mahomes? Look at that guy's mace. That was badass. I want a mace. No, I don't. I want my sword. I want a better sword. Path of the Slayer. Recruit, a pleasure to see you. I'm told you're ready to leave your trading weapons behind and forge something new. Okay. Weapon of choice. Oh, here we go. Wills has offered to forge you a new weapon. Complete one of the following. Recruit sword, hammer, or chain blades. Chain blades? What? <laughs> My friend, you need to use a training blade no longer. I can forge you any one of these more advanced designs. And remember, a slayer trains in all manners of weapons. Your first choice is this, but not your last. So, what can the Bourbon Smithy create for you? Fucking chain blades, bitch! <laughs> Are you even asking? <laughs> Kind of a question is that? Chain blades. Thank you. Holmes. Wills was An excellent choice. Corner. I'm sure our mutual friend Katarin will be pleased as well. And do be sure to equip your new weapon before going on your next hunt. You'd be surprised how many inexperienced slayers forget to do that. Okay. Equip your gear on the loadout screen, ensure you have the most appropriate armor, weapons, lantern, supplies on every hunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loadout. Me sword. Chain blades, bitch. Whoops. Yeah, I don't know how... Controller is not exactly the best for this, I guess, but... It, yeah, it's not great, but it's okay. 
Like, the, the controller's usable, but it's not fucking amazing. Maybe they'll add more controller support, or maybe it's best to use a keyboard, I don't fucking know. Games like this in third person, though, third person actually hacky slashy games, they always use a controller for. It just feels right. This is how you do. I must admit, they look pretty cool, they're like fucking pickaxes. They're pretty badass. I need to talk to you. Well, I'm here. What do you want? Hello, Slayer. Fury's Busy. wings. Got a job for you. Can suggest you form a hunting party to take down a rogue shrike. Okay. Have the new weapon equipped and ready to go? Because you have work to do. The Silmi ran into a wake of a rogue shrike nesting far too close to the city. Now that you've acquired a proper Slayer's weapon, I'd say it's the perfect job for an ambitious recruit like you. Hit the hunt board, form a team, and take that behemoth down. Okay. Don't be a stranger. Frame Do rate's low again. Slayer. The amateur alchemist. Visit the bosun and see what supplies he can offer. You've survived a rogue nasher without serious injury recruit, but you won't always be so lucky. Be sure to check in with the bosun. He's something of an amateur alchemist. He told me he's cooking up some useful potions Good for luck, you. Slayer. All right, let's go do that. And then we gotta hit the quest board, which is that one, I guess. Hey there, skipper. So you've heard about my hobby, yeah. Alchemy has always been a passion of mine. And if I do say so myself, I've gotten a lot better at it. In fact, I cooked up some samples. First, some Frenzy Tonics. Use one of these when you want to do more damage, especially against an enraged behemoth. And these Stamina Tonics will help you recover when you're exhausted. Check out the crafting menu to see what else I can make for you. Steady on, Skipper. Cool. And now we got to go here. And I assume it's just going to make the match for us? Is that right? I guess so. I guess so. I'm going alone, am I? That's cool, I don't care. Other people can jump in later, it's fine. I'm sure we'll be okay. We're badasses. We got chain blades. What could go wrong? Let's see how this goes on our own. I'm sure other people will jump in before we even get to the shrike. But I guess we'll find out. Man, I really gotta do something about this frame rate. It is quite bad. A lot of the time, it is bad. They're gonna this definitely do some optimizing. They're gonna do some serious optimizing on this bitch. I've got a second to lose. Pick up the pace. Okay, so we're on a time limit. It's 30 minutes, though. I come to pick some fucking mushrooms, man. What do you reckon? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Good goddamn. Right, let's go see if we can find some fucking behemoths then. And kick their asses! What's this? They're like super run? Super runny run? Here, yeah, behemoth. Where the fuck are you, bruh? I'm gonna murder you. Hopefully. Or be murdered by you, one or the other. I don't really care either way at this stage. And the episode's nearly done. We killed the training one, that's all that matters, right? As long as we killed the training one. There's a, there's a goat. Can I kill that? Guess not. Sorry, goat. I did try to kill- there he is. Hey, asshole. Oh, shit! Whoa! Sheath your weapon when sprinting, or you'll drain all your stamina away. Alright, here we go. Come on, bitch. What do you got? Scary? Fuck! You got wings, huh? And you're not afraid to use them, huh? Whoa! Bit of lag there.
What is this? God damn, these chain blades are fucking awesome. They got some serious range on their ass. Come on, bitch. What do you got? Woohoo! That was close. Good goddamn. Woohoo! Ooh, this could be interesting. You can't do shit to me when I'm at this range, bitch. Even though you do have wings, and that makes you pretty fucking scary, actually. I still don't know what that's for, but I'm gonna grab shit from it. Because I can. Here we go. Die. Whoa, a tornado. Whoa, fuck! What else you got, bitch? Okay, all of his attacks seem to be range focused. Might be better for me to stay close. Doesn't use as much stamina either. Man, we're fast when we're close. Fucking tearing him apart out there. What else you got, bitch? Let's fucking do this. Come on. What do you got? You don't scare me. You missed. Oh my god, I cut a tree down. I'm gonna cut your ass off. I'm gonna heal. Ah, it's better. What you got, bitch? I'm gonna keep hitting you in the ass. It's all that Dark Souls training that makes me hit you in the ass. Apologies for that. Yeah, all that Dark Souls makes me automatically go for the ass. Ah, fuck. Die, oh, you fucker. Woo, that was scary. Nearly got myself locked into a death combo there. You're a big lumbering useless fuck, aren't you? Oh shit. Too close for that. Not keen, bro. Fuck you. Oh, he's leaving. Don't leave. Your attacks are having an effect, Slayer. You can tell that Behemoth's taking a beating. Well, this is going well. Don't you think? I think it's going well. Let's go find him a killer's ass. We were wrecking him out there, especially when we started using the uh, light attacks. He's definitely one to stay close to because he seems to be focusing on ranged attacks. So we keep up on his grill, he can't do shit. Why would we need three other party members for this? We got this fuck. Heal. I mean, stamina. Oh, it is heal. You die now. Here we go! Come on, fucker! They do sound intimida intimidatingly large. They've definitely pulled off the sound large and scary thing. Even though he's not really that large. I mean, they could get a lot larger. The last guy was about the same size as this. They're large, but they're not super large. Ch 
Chop him up. I'm gonna make mincemeat out of this motherfucker. Come on, bitch, what do you got? That's all you got, huh? I guess you're fucked then, aren't you? Fucking elbow me, you son of a bitch. Okay, that hurt. But there's a healy thing over there, so it doesn't even matter. I'm not even worried. You can't do shit to me. Man, I love these chain blades though, I think they were a good choice. They feel badass as. And they're quick and effective. They're like slicing all around his ass. Literally all over his ass. Like his ass is getting sliced up. You are done, bitch. <laughs> chop, 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 choppity chop. S plus. That's the rank I like. I like that rank. And we were the best in our team too, amazing. Cool. No brake parts, well that's fucking useless. I assume that's what you need to make armor and weapons and stuff. Well that's fucking crap. Alright, well. I think that's a good introduction to the game. I definitely want to come back and do another episode, at least one more. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.